Hello chess friends and welcome to the Art of Chess channel and welcome back to our commented chess games played by computer series. So in this series we're following some great games that are played by Stockfish engines and also by some other engines like the Dragon Engine, uh, Kalila C0, Alpha Zero and many many more. And today I've decided to show you again a beautiful sharp attacking game played by the newest version of Stockfish by the Stockfish 15 engine against another engine uh, fire. So this game is really incredible because it will be again in sort of a playable opening. Uh, I think we have witnessed many times in this top engine games some dubious openings that are pre-arranged by the organized but today we'll see again a solid opening that this uh this the stock which engine will destroy in such a beautiful and sharp attacking way uh it will be in the time of Sicilian and time of Sicilian is Sicilian I think that's played very often in top grandmaster level uh even in some low rated level but as I said it's a playable opening that I think fits for everyone it has I think good strategical ideas in the early stage of the game but the way as I said that stock which is destroying this solid opening it's really wild especially when uh, when we see also this game uh, already after 20 25 moves the game was already plus two evaluation for the stockfish engine which is really incredible when you think about it harder uh getting destroyed in in an early stage of the game is really really incredible so let's see now how stockfish played against the french defense uh, against the french Sicilian against the taiman of system so here um e4 was played by stockfish we have c5 by fire knight f3 uh, we have e6 the french Sicilian d4 c takes d4 knight to d4 and after move knight to c6 we have now the time of sicilian so knight to c3 we have queen to c7 of course knight uh, to b5 is not working immediately queen to b8 was going to happen and still uh, black has a perfect control of the d6 so nothing wrong so far with black setup so that's why white is not playing knight to b5 here stock which develops normally with the move bishop to e3 a6 prevents of course now knight to b5 stock which plays bishop to d3 knight to f6 and now king side casting so okay you see in this game stockfish choose to play really fast development style because many times also in the sicilian and also in the french sicilian and also in the taman of sicilian many times you see also some ideas of queen to d2 queen side casting and then f3 g4 um, in order to attack the position like this but actually uh, in the taman of system it's perfectly fine to castle uh here king side because with the move e6 we have to say it um black didn't control the e5 square and now in the continuation we can expect f4 f5 as the main attacking goal of white so that's why the e6 is of course perfectly fine has its advantages because it can of course uh, create a d5 form break too but it has of course its disadvantages because it's weakening a little bit the e5 square so in the continuation after move uh, king side casting we have h5 uh, here by um, by this uh, engine fire because fire probably want to play also a knight to g4 and attacking the bishop on e3 so that's why h3 by stockfish stockfish prevents this idea really in a good way with a normal move we have b5 and now knight to b3 getting the knight on a uh, on the edge of the board is a little bit weird sometimes but so far uh, i think the knight to b3 is uh, perfectly fine because it, it releases the pressure a little bit in the center of the board because we want to play much more freely with this bishop because with the move h five uh, i think we have now even opportunities to play bishop to uh, g5 maybe even g3 bishop to f4 and similar stuff so we want to play freer with our dark school bishop that's why the knight was a little bit loose on the board on d4 so knight to b3 good positional idea by stockfish we have bishop to e7 by fire now comes this idea f4 that we have said we have a beautiful expansion um, uh, here on uh, on the king side we have uh, d6 and now queen to e2 and stockfish has now finished the development uh, with, let's talk about about development and how you can finish it because uh, there are three stages which I've mentioned many times uh, here in my videos uh, how to develop yourself first you should bring all of your minor pieces out which of course Stockfish did you see we have already all of our pieces out uh, what we should do as the second stage is of course to secure the king by castle which also Stockfish did and then uh, we should remove the queen from the first rank maybe to the second rank to the third rank but we should get our rook connection which is now the third stage and you see now Stockfish is already building the so-called attacking formation and whenever stockfish is building an attacking formation you can guess what will happen we will have probably one of the most brutal then attacks so that's why i left also this game because stockfish plays first of all a game which i think is very understandable for us humans and then in the continuation it will uh, have of course its beautiful calculation skills where it, it can destroy you really in an easy way so after move queen to e2 we have bishop to b7 now a4 this is a good move this is a 
brilliant positional move because we have to say it, uh, black has uh, here advantage on the queen side and uh, built the solve called hook we have this a6 b5 hook and many times you should break the hook just by uh, attacking from front so we should play a4 and now black has to make a reaction if black takes uh, b takes uh, a4 then rook to a4 is going to happen and we would have, have a beautiful attack against the weak a6 pawn then of course rook to a1 could happen and uh, the attack i think cannot be any more protected by by black so that's why uh here after move a4 black is playing the move b4 but ex exposing himself a little bit there are now also several weaknesses here so after move knight to b1 we have uh, e5 so uh here fire is trying to break uh, the position in the center and we have now knight to d2 so e takes f4 and now rook to f4 which was i think a little bit of surprise uh, i've expected maybe the move bishop to f4 to continue the pressure uh against this weak d6 pawn baby by playing knight to c4 then maybe rook to d1 but actually rook to f4 is a brilliant idea because you see now stockfish is realizing that black has stayed a little bit too long with the king in the center now what stockfish is trying to do is attack the f7 weakness so here in the continuation we have knight to e5 if for instance try d5 uh this would be i think a suicide because this is something that you should not do there is this rule in chess which says that you should maybe break in the center but you should first secure the king and this is a perfect example how you should not break in the center although you have a good control of the center by the knight but also by the bishop but this would be a suicide because now comes actually a beautiful tactic that stockfish has prepared probably and uh, stockfish has calculated of course that's why uh, we see now the importance of the move rook to f4 instead of bishop to f4 now after move rook to f5 for instance if you try d4 then of course we can play bishop to f4 and the queen would be attacked but even if you try d takes e4 then knight to e4 knight to e4 bishop to e4 and you see now for instance if you play g6 uh, in order to kick away the rook you can guess what stockfish uh, would do here probably uh, stockfish would play maybe you can pause the video and try to see now a good tactic uh, just for fun it wasn't played in the game but of course we want to uh, improve our attacking skills here also by analyzing some great games by stockfish so after move g6 try to see now the best continuation this is the line that i uh, try to see at home of course by using the stockfish engine of course so after move g6 the beautiful move would be rook to f7 is actually working because now after uh, king to f7 queen to c4 you have to step back here to g7 but now knight to d4 uh, threatens here a beautiful beautiful uh fork on e6 and uh, i'm not seeing good ways how to defend this position anymore you see the bishop will come on d4 so it's i think a lost game here for uh, for black queen to d6 we can also take out the knight so the knight is hanging so then bishop to d4 uh, rook to d1 can be included into the attack so it's game over so here in the continuation after move uh, um, rook to f4 we have knight to e5 here played by uh, the fire engine which is perfectly fine is blocking out the center uses now this very important square which is controlling very very important squares in the center of the board so the knight is here perfectly fine and it's very hard for uh, white even to kick away this knight even if you try it with knight to c4 and knight to e5 then d takes e5 will happen and you just improve basically black's pawn structure because we have to say it, the weakness now in black's position is now the weak pawn on d6 but also a little bit the weak square on d5 which is many times a similar structure like in the neither of Sicilian and similar stuff but we have to recognize these two weaknesses also what we should say is uh, here important weakness on f5 so if we could maybe maneuver one of these knights and get it to f5 somehow then it would be a perfect position then for for white so after move knight to e5 stop which proceeds with rook to f1 and look at this i would not love to play now the game anymore from black's perspective rook to f1 uh, a to f1 we have knight to d7 and now bishop to c4 for instance if you try knight to d3 immediately then c takes d3 you can maybe castle but now bishop to d4 is creating further pressure uh here you can maybe try d5 but as i said with queen to f2 i think there are even some tactical shots with bishop takes f6 bishop takes f6 and rook to f6 i think would be also very dangerous then to grab the spawn on h5 so um the f file attack i think is something that bothers black in the continuation of the game because you have already played the move h5 and you have you have exposed yourself so after move rook from h to f1 we have knight to uh, the sub bishop to c4 again if you try knight to c4 then knight to c4 is going to happen again you have problems around the square f7 you can maybe kingside casting but now knight to uh, a5 is also something that bothers i think 
black in the continuation of the game you lose your life for bishop which becomes actually your best piece on the board and after bishop to see we can play now queen to h5 and uh, simply include more attackers into the game so again i think it's game over here for for black so after move bishop to c4 here uh the fire engine didn't dare to take out the bishop played simply king side casting and you see now this is uh, so far a good defense by black backless a good control of the f7 square but it's still an obvious target here uh for white so here the continuation we have knight to d4 so stock which is now including more attackers into the game as we said we're trying to occupy the f5 square immediately so that's why g6 and now bishop to a2 get stepping with the, uh, back with the bishop because now stockfish doesn't want to lose any more the bishop because the pawn structure is getting more weakened here with the move g6 now there is always this tactical goal maybe to get the queen on g3 and then uh, maybe when the knight moves here from e5 to deliver a check here on g6 because you cannot take uh, because of the bishop's activity so now stockfish is saying okay you had your chance to take out my life for bishop but now you're not going to take it now my life for bishop is becoming the best minor piece on the board so here after move bishop to a2 we have knight to c5 uh, we have now knight to f5 this is a brilliant brutal tactical shot uh, by stockfish but i think it's a move that we could have expected uh, we have seen many times by stockfish and also of course by top grand matches uh this beautiful attacking style uh knight to f5 is perfectly fine because if you try g takes f5 then of course queen to h5 uh the f5 is also weak so you could maybe try to include more defenders into the game but now even this is working e takes f5 you can even sacrifice the rook if you want to because for instance if you're knight to f4 rook to f4 and now rook to g4 is also a serious threat because if you try maybe something like i don't know queen to c6 to deliver checkmate look at this you can even sacrifice another rook that's the beauty about this attack by stockfish but now after knight to g4 queen to g4 comes with the check you have to play king to h7 but look at this now queen to h5 that's the importance about this move bishop to um, bishop to a2 that as we said this queen to g6 check is working that's uh, the tactic that i really wanted to show how important it was to create this bishop attack here after move queen to h5 you can maybe try this one now we can create first a check queen to g6 but now uh queen to g8 pardon me queen to g6 now you have to play queen, um, king to uh, a check but now after bishop to d4 you have to cover yourself with f6 but now look at this queen to h6 is becoming a beautiful beautiful checkmate so as i said this is really wild after move uh, g takes f5 the position is falling apart so it was simply not time to take out the knight so the knight can stay here forever which is now perfectly fine uh here in the continuation we have knight to e6 knight to e uh, seven first to check we have queen to e7 but now rook to f6 and we have now perfect control here from white's perspective of dark course uh the bishop will come into the game so strategically this is a little game over for black because you have lost the most important piece in your position which is the dark square bishop and as i said you have already um uh played this move g6 h5 crew have already created dark weaknesses so you don't have a defender anymore it's game over so as i said we're we move 23 and the evaluation is already winning fear for white although it doesn't seem so in the beginning but i would love of course to play this game now from white's perspective because especially because of the dark weaknesses so here after move um, rook to f6 h5 was played bishop takes uh, e6 f takes e6 and now bishop to g5 so stockfish is attacking for the, the dark horse we have uh, uh, queen to c7 getting out of the range of the bishop we have uh, queen to e3 getting also out of the potential range of the bishop on a6 so uh, we have here rook to e8 we have uh, queen to g3 bishop to a6 and now rook to f2 so stockfish is lifting simply uh, his rooks uh, even if you try here something like i don't know queen to c2 then here simply queen to f4 we're building a battery and uh, i'm not seeing good ways here anymore for white uh, for, for black part me to defend this position so here after move uh, rook to f2 in the continuation we have queen to uh, a7 trying to pin this rook here but stockfish simply gets out of the range with the move king to h2 so queen to g7 we have knight to b3 trying to search for new opportunities for the knight especially we're trying to attack of course the e6 weakness so here in the continuation we have bishop to b7 knight to c5 really really beautiful move forces now uh, further trades of pieces but now with queen to e5 we are exploiting first the, the dark school weaknesses that uh, black is creating by playing the move g6 and h5 and the dark school bishop is still of course the best minor piece on the board so rook to f6 bishop to f6 we have queen to uh, d7 rook to f4 uh, bishop to uh, rook to f8 and now queen to g5 attacking the g6 pawn so that's why king to h7 has to be played but now queen to c5 
f rook to f7 stop which simply grabs more pawns it's perfectly fine to maybe even simplify it till the end so maybe trade off every piece and then go into a favorable endgame so we have bishop to e4 rook to e4 and here uh the fire engine found of course a beautiful way how to defend but it's actually not working because here stockfish plays for simply rook to uh, pardon me queen to c5 it's not allowing the queen to come into the game here on d4 uh we have a rook to f5 now queen to b6 uh, we have um, a queen takes uh, a4 uh, and now stockfish first delivers a check we have queen to h6 and now rook to e6 so stockfish is trying now to build uh this battery on the seventh rank and to deliver checkmate so here a uh, queen to a8 we have now a rook to uh, uh rook to e7 the queen has to step back and defend the h7 now again a beautiful move h4 which uh is not allowing here uh the escape route for the king we have king to g8 and now queen to a7 rook to f4 and after queen to e3 in this position uh the fire engine resigns so you could maybe try uh, here queen to f8 but now uh, here with g3 we can of course um uh, uh, try to attack the rook and it's game over so rook to e4 is also working uh simply too much pressure even if you would have tried i don't know uh, you don't have to allow your opponent maybe to pin you you could maybe try rook to f6 you then have to play rook to f4 then queen to e3 comes of course with a beautiful check you have to cover yourself with the uh, g pawn but now with uh, this one queen to g5 now we can even i don't know play rook to h7 king to g7 g6 we can even uh play this one just deflecting the uh, king from the defense of the queen so it's also game over so there are many many uh, beautiful ways how white should attack this position but as i said everyone is losing simply for black so really really great game i think uh, with beautiful knight to have five tactic uh, we have seen how stockfish is playing really a calm game develops the pieces in a normal way uh, activates his pieces builds attacking formations then when it's time then it's striking back uh, with some great attacking for uh, with some attacking formation with some beautiful tactical shots especially on the f5 square and then exploiting the dark squares was i think really really beautiful to see so okay i hope that you enjoyed the game i really enjoyed it a lot the interesting ideas of the taiman of sicilian if you want to see more brutal attacks by stockfish 15 and also by some other top engines check out my comment to chess games the the best chess games played by computers here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course